David, you dominated possession for long spells in the first half. Was it hard to play against such a defensive setup? Um, I wouldn't say that, but I think I've got to make the point. I don't get my, my getting beaten fair and square, but you know, I just find some of the referees refereeing decisions tonight totally inexplicable. You know, we had an absolute stonewall penalty. Derry City lads are coming up and saying to us, "No, he referee says he didn't see it." Well, he's, he's yards away. If he didn't see it, the, the linesman's got to see it. Philip Laurie then goes and takes the ball of, of Doherty, their goalkeeper. Didn't that touch him at all, whatsoever. And finally, at the end, when Stephen Douglas is about to knock the ball into the box, he's got a cut right down his foot, so he has. He's bruised, a bruised ankle. I'm absolutely livid. I really, really am. I don't mind if we were beaten fair and square, 110 percent. And as I say, but that. I'm just lost for words to tell you the truth, really am. With the scoreline at 3-1, it's obvious though that there was something lacking in the performance. Uh, the referee's performance, you're 100% right, that was a good question. What about the performance of your players on the pitch? My players on the pitch, I thought, did tremendously well, fantastically well. I thought we were disruptive when big Albert Watson went off and it took us a wee couple of minutes to, to get ourselves reorganised again. But I thought, you know, there, there are key moments in, in a game, critical moments in a game. And I sometimes wonder, you know, what was what was going on. And I can tell you other other, other reports that, that, about how my players were addressed and how they were spoken to. I'm not happy about this at all. I really am. And I tell you what, I've been making a full report to the board about some of the things that were said and done. Thanks, David. Thank you.